Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm at a location for all you archaeology lovers. I'm at Kimprapple Hill which is near, near Lithgow, so it's in the West Lothians and it's a prehistoric site. So I'm just going to go up for a wee wonder and let you have a wee look around the, the site itself. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. And if you do, if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my channel, please click on the, on the notification bell. Please click on that subscription button, leave some likes, leave some comments, uh, it's all really appreciated. So I'm going to stop uh, Haven and get myself up there. So essentially parking's in a wee kind of way by. So that's where you go up to get to the hill. And that's a view. And I don't know if you can see it from in the video. But in the distance, you can see at least two of the fourth bridges. And I can see the rail bridge and the Queen Ferry crossing. So, and out in the distance, I probably can't see it in this video, but if you're standing here and it's a clear day, you can actually see uh, the Bash Rock. I was about to see the Elsa Craig there, but the Elsa Craig's in the west coast. So that's the Bash Rock. You can be able to see a Bash Rock. And I'm just going to head up this way. So that's uh, another historic Scotland site. And it's going to open April to September. So this is a wee kind of wee bit of a wee kind of bit of suggestion for you. It's on, on a working farm, so yeah, don't don't annoy your livestock. And it is a bit of a climb to the top. So. I'm sure that's five over there. I'm not even on, so I'm not even at the top yet. Again, pretty impressive view so far. So I'm just going to continue on this way. Yeah, the worst bit of the climb is the stairs. what I've come to see. Even though the location is called Cairn Papal Hill, on the top of it there is a burial mound. A lot of it, well, quite a part of it anyway, has been reconstructed. It's all been based on the archaeology. Over there, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. So if it looks at like Arthur's seat over there, probably is. The castle's probably behind it somewhere. The rest of you's gonna hidden because uh, the rest of the hill. And this one right here is where you can buy your tickets for visiting the site. If you want the money, you've got to go pay yourself to visit a light on a site like this. All the money or, is to go towards running Historic Scotland, which protects these sites. So, it's a good cause.
That's what they say, it looked like before it was excavated. So this here is a model of Ken Park, which I can get it. I can't really get it without getting it getting all these in the glass. So as you can see, it's showing the different phases. So the outer pink la uh, layer be the first phase. The, the, set, the kind of ditch, second phase, and there's posts, third phase, the orange bit is the, the, was, the blue bit, which I think is the kist, the next phase, it would be orange, then it's green, then I think there's some maybe up white bits, so we can squeeze it out later. So, And these pots are replicas of some of the things that were actually found. And then there's beakers. Here, I'm just 
turn the camera off for a second, get myself done inside. And let's see inside. And this is the inside of the mound on top of Camp Apple Hill. Essentially the modern dome is to protect these bits of archaeology because it is, as I've shown outside, quite an exposed hillside. This is the location of the oldest burial. Yeah, archaeological processes definitely have changed in the past 70 or so years. Well, that's me just come down, back down from Cairn Papal Hill and definitely worth a wee visit. I was uh, talking to the guy who essentially is one of the, the caretakers up there. And he's pointing out the fact you can see all the way down to like the Pentland Hills, you can see to Loudon Hill, which is in the Irvine Valley. You can see up towards Stirling. There's a Bannock Barn as well. So it's kind of the, the view from the top is absolutely brilliant. De and definitely worth a visit for the archaeology as well. So uh, definitely one out that I'd recommend. And hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.